welcome to the program. Tonight, a whistleblower from Bradford has told Look North her warnings about vulnerable school children being left exposed to abuse have been ignored. The child protection officer quit her job over the concerns. It comes as a group of MPs warn that lessons haven't been learned from the Rotherham child abuse scandal. David Rhodes has the story. Anyone who looks after children will tell you it's never a nine-to-five occupation, but for Nicola Tordoff, her job became more consuming. It got to the point where I was working 60-plus hours per week and there was also a deputy working full-time as well. Nicola was the lead child protection officer at Tong High School, supporting and safeguarding the vulnerable, which included children, some as young as 11, identified as being potential victims of sexual abuse. Beginning of February, I... Um, I raised with the, the governor what I deemed to be whistleblowing. Um, I said that if something wasn't done, then we would not be keeping young people safe. In the last three years, the school has doubled the number of children it's referred into the care of social services. Feeling her calls for more support and protection were ignored, Nicola resigned in June after writing a letter of concern to those in charge. I believe that it's, it's more luck than management that something hasn't happened to a young person. No one from the school was available to speak to us about the issues that were raised in this letter. They, they did tell us that as soon as this letter was received, they acted immediately to resolve any of the issues that were brought to their attention. Bradford Council has its own whistleblowing policy. If concerns are raised by staff members, the council should launch an investigation. But Nicola told us the authority didn't respond to her initial letter. We asked Bradford Council, how did they specifically respond to the letter of concern that they received? Had they even followed their own whistleblowing policy? They simply told us, though, that child safety in Bradford is paramount, but they provided no evidence to say that they'd actually responded to the initial letter of concern. This former Bradford MP says he's worried by this sequence of events. Nicola did the right thing. She took it internally to the people who should be responsible for it and her allegation is that it was not dealt with seriously. This is a member of staff who felt so strongly about this issue that she resigned her job from the school and then has not had any formal interview. Sheffield MP Clive Betts has recently led a committee of MPs that have said that whistleblowers like Nicola need more support and protection. For the Rotherham child sex abuse scandal still casts a long shadow in Yorkshire. One of the lessons from Rotherham was that if whistleblowers had been listened to earlier on, some of the most vulnerable children could have been protected. David Rhodes, BBC Look North, Bradford.